Hey, what's up? In this episode of What Is Xiaomi Doing? We're going to look at all the new releases in the Mi Home Store over the last few weeks. Since last month's episode has been so popular, I'm giving away one of these new products to any of you subscribers in this as well. So uh, why wait? Let's go. So let's start this off with the crowdfunding of this unexpected new robot floor cleaner. This Robo Rock vacuum cleaner and floor mop looks suspiciously similar to Xiaomi's own vacuum robot, but it's got a lot of improvements and new features. Not only can it sweep and vacuum the floor, it actually can also mop the floor as well. It uses high precision LDS laser for navigation and it's got that same intelligent room mapping, allowing you to select a portion of the map to clean. So you could, for example, just clean your kitchen or just uh, clean your living room. It's got intelligent carpet recognition allowing the device to automatically identify a carpet or rug to maximize its suction and it will return to normal suction outside of the carpet. Another big improvement is that the threshold limit on this cleaner is 2 centimeters, allowing it to move over a lot more obstacles and thresholds. The Robo Rock comes in at about 2500 RMB, which is a bit more expensive than Xiaomi's own branded vacuum cleaner. And since this new Robo Rock cleaner is an improvement, I would say that price is justified. The crowdfunding on this new floor cleaner was sold out in the blink of an eye and I unfortunately didn't get a chance to get in on the first round, but I might get one once they actually hit the store in about a month or two. Next up is this new Xiaomi slash Amazfit smartwatch. First off, it's got a 190 mAh battery and it says its battery life is 45 days. Let me say that again, its battery life is about 45 days. It's got GPS and a GLONASS, Bluetooth 4.0 and it's IP68 waterproof. It should be able to track your movement, your walking distance, monitor your heart rate and receive notifications from your phone. It comes in four colors and they seem to have a few different straps for it as well, although I couldn't find those in the store yet. I'll have to admit it looks very, very similar to the Apple Watch, but its screen doesn't cover the whole front so that is a pretty big compromise. It doesn't have the same functionality as the Apple Watch has, especially not the new Series 3, but it does come into the store for 399 RMB, which is about 60 US or 50 euros right now and that is about 85% cheaper than the Apple Watch. So for those who want a smartwatch that looks very similar to the Apple Watch but doesn't cost Apple Watch money, Xiaomi's got your back. This month I headed over to Beijing where Xiaomi announced the follow-up of the critically acclaimed Mi Mix that was released last year. At almost 6 inches the Mi Mix is a bit smaller than the previous generation and it results in a somewhat smaller battery of 3400mAh but the phone does feel a lot more comfortable when you're holding it. The screen has a 18 to 9 aspect ratio which is quite odd but this makes the resolution 2160 by 1080 which they've called FHD+. The processor has been upgraded to a Snapdragon 835, RAM has been increased to 6 gigs and it's running MIUI 9 and it feels really really fast. Fingerprint sensor is placed on the back of the phone below the camera and this back camera is capable of shooting 12 megapixel photos while its front camera just shoots 5 megapixel photos. So in terms of specs these cameras haven't really been improved but the photos do look better than the photos of the first generation mix. Its basic 64 gigs model comes in for 3300 RMB all the way up to a 256 gig model for 4000 RMB which comes down to a little over $600. There's also an amazing looking special edition ceramic unibody model that comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage for 4700 RMB which is about 720 US dollars. At the Mi Mix event, Xiaomi also took time out to announce the next generation in their Mi Note lineup, the Mi Note 3. This model has heavily put its focus on selfie shooting, sporting a 60 megapixel front camera, and a lot of AI features are included to beautify image in a much more natural way, something that is extremely popular in China. The phone can be unlocked with face recognition as well, and on the back you'll find a dual lens camera for optical zoom and adding in that nice background bokeh, and that camera shoots 12 megapixel photos. The Note 3 has a Snapdragon 660 processor and also a bit smaller battery capacity of 3500 mAh. Its RAM did get upgraded to 6 gigs. It's available in blue and black and it's being sold in China for only 2500 RMB with 64 gigs of storage and 2900 RMB for the 128 gigs models. That is about 380 and 440 US dollars respectively. 
Also, at the Mi Mix event, Xiaomi uh, launched an upgrade in their notebook lineup, the Mi Notebook Pro. This 15-inch notebook has a i7 processor, 256 gigs SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, and the NVIDIA GeForce MX150, which powers its full HD screen. It's equipped with quite a few ports, including two USB-C, two USB-3, HDMI, and a audio output. The keyboard is really nice to type on, and the trackpad felt really smooth as well. And this trackpad comes with a built-in finger print scanner that can be used for unlocking. It's supposed to be very robust and it comes in for 7000 RMB for the fully spec model, which is a little bit more than 1000 USD. The Mi Notebook Pro is currently just running a Chinese version of Windows, but you might be able to get that to English, but I'm not entirely sure as I don't have a model at hand yet. Also new in store was this water heater slash cooker by Viomi, and this seems to warm up water. It works with an app, but I could not find if it will work with the Mija app as it's not listed in there as of right now. At first I thought it would have a water filter built in, but that's not the case. It does mention this water cooker needs to be filled with purified water. And since Xiaomi themselves actually have uh, these great looking water cookers in their store, I personally don't see much need for this one, but uh, perhaps you might feel different. The crowdfunding uh, is already sold out where it went for 4.99 RMB. Next up was this new Yi Light ceiling light, and this one comes in two sizes of 48 centimeters and 65 centimeters so it is a pretty big light. It's got built-in Wi-Fi allowing you to set it up with the Mi Home app as well as the Yi Light app. Besides the regular light it also has a ring of LED lights on the back for more dimmed and colorful lighting. The main light can be set from 3300K to 5300K allowing you to change its hue and set its brightness. It can be set with a remote control with the Mi Home app and it should work with the Mi AI speaker right away as well. It comes in for 399 for the 480 millimeter and 699 for the 650 millimeter version. Its crowdfunding is still running as of now, so it will probably be in store in about a month or two. Quite similar in looks to Mija's Bluetooth smart kettle is this new Mija water kettle. It's pretty much the same, but it comes without Bluetooth, so you could say they made the smart kettle less... Sm yeah. It's just a centimeter bigger in size than the first kettle, and it pretty much looks just as nice. I must confess that I rarely use the Bluetooth function on the smart kettle that I have, so I can kind of see why. This one hit the store for 99 RMB versus the 199 that the uh, other kettle actually costs, so it is a lot cheaper. Also new in store was this Toilet Seat Royale by uh, SmartMe. It can be heated, it can clean, and it even has a LED light built in. It doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, uh, so I know what you're thinking. You can't control that rinsing feature remotely. Too bad. It is in store now for 999 RMB, which is a little over $150 right now. Also new in store is this uh, new 20,000 mAh power bank by Xiaomi. It's got two USB 3 outputs and a micro USB port to charge the power bank. 20,000 mAh is really big as this allows you to fully charge a Mi 5X four times and charge an iPhone 7 about seven times. It's not in store yet, but it should be available quite soon for only 129 RMB, which is a little less than 20 US dollars. Next up was this book about Xiaomi's achievements as a really explosive explosively growing startup. It's written in Chinese, but it comes with some beautiful images showing uh, some of the products from the Mi ecosystem. And it seems to tell the story how Xiaomi incubated many startups to rapidly grow to be this unstoppable giant that they are now. I will give one of these books to any of you subscribers before the next episode, and you can find out how to win that at the end of this episode. Also new is this Xiaomi Eye Health temperature meter. I got one of these during the Mi Mix event, and it looks like a well-made product. You can measure the temperature by holding the device about three centimeters away from your forehead so uh, no more sticks in your ear or in uh, other places. I've tried it and uh, what can I say? It measures the temperature so it does what it needs to do. In store now for 129 RMB. Then we saw the Akara water leak sensor made its way to the store this month and this smart home water detector was crowdfunded about three months ago. I've done a video about it. If you want to check that out you can find that right here. Unfortunately this month we haven't seen a lot of new smart home products which was a bit of a bummer but we did get to see a whole bunch of lifestyle products like this wok making the line of pots and pans in the Mi home store even bigger and finally the one you've been waiting for finally Xiaomi has toilet paper in the Mi home store now as well this is marked as a new product in the store but I actually have bought one of these cable organizer boxes about uh, one and a half years ago so I'm suspecting that perhaps slightly different materials are used on this one then we 
we had a new mask. Then we had a whole bunch of bags for boys and girls. Then the bowls and plates have gotten different sizes now and these look really good. I actually have these plates and the smaller size bowls from the Mii store and I'm actually really happy with those. A whole bunch of sweaters got in store the last month including this Xiaomi sweater for only 99 RMB. Of course these were sold out when I saw them but they got back in store the day after so they are available right now. For the October holiday in China they had these mooncakes which is the traditional gift. Obviously Xiaomi has got to get in on that. And then there was this this, uh, well, not really great looking bottle of Prosecco. They had new floor tiles for babies in the crowdfunding and these are made out of PVC. They also expanded their line of mattresses and blankets, which are really hard for me to track because there are so many of them. And something fishy was going on in the Mi store as well, because the weirdest one on this list is definitely these crabs. And like we've seen last month, this store is really going nuts and this month they have even more nuts in store. Then they had these uh, storage boxes and they had these hangers. I don't even know how to call them. They really got everything in store. I'm gonna be giving away one of these new books about Xiaomi to any of you subscribers and winning this is gonna be pretty easy. Just be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on this video and a comment saying why you would love to have that book using the hashtag Xiaomi book. I gotta say it again, it is completely written in Chinese. For most of you guys, this is probably gonna be just a collector's item to have. Last month's episode really got a lot more attention and a lot more views than the previous ones and this is a way to say thank you guys for the amount of love you've been showing me. In the episode last month we've looked at the new AI speaker and I actually managed to get my hands on one so I've unboxed it, installed it but I need a little bit of time to really get to know it so I'll probably do a video about it in a couple of weeks or at least as soon as I possibly can. I'll continue doing this series to show you guys what Xiaomi is doing here in China and besides that I'm doing videos on a lot of Xiaomi ecosystem products here on the channel so if you have not subscribed know that you should. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon.